Hey guys, what's up? This is Manoj and in this video, I'll be giving information about profile building. What all the good profile contains and what are all the information that has to be included in a good profile. So if you guys have not subscribed to my YouTube channel Tribo Geek, please do subscribe. And now let's start. Profile building. Profile building is one of the most important part of a student's life. Let it be in case of finding job or for your higher studies. Your profile plays an important role. Let's see how we build an extraordinary profile. You can't do a good job if your job is all what you do. What does this quote mean? If you are an engineering student and you are just doing your job, which is studying, attending classes and not involving in any other extra activities, that means you are doing your job right. Because whenever you want to be highlighted by others, you should involve in various extra curricular activities. Let's understand what is a profile. An outline of something, especially a person's face, as seen from one side. A short article giving a description of a person or organization. This is nothing but a document which will showcase yourself. For what purpose are we doing this profile? I have selected two areas that is higher education and for jobs. What all things should a profile contain? That is, what is the major feature of the profile? So I have designed the outline of the profile. The first feature is academics. The second feature is language test and competitive exams. The third is projects and research papers. And the fourth is SOP and LOR, which is nothing but statement of purpose and letter of recommendation. And the fifth is extracurricular activities. Let us see all these outline features one by one and understand the importance in your profile. First comes your academics. The three important things in your academics are relevant bachelor studies, prerequisite knowledge, total number of credits and the most important thing is CGPA which is nothing but cumulative grade point average. All these three combines to give your CGPA or percentage. Whenever you are applying to the master's program, the important criteria is selecting the relevant master's field which is related to your bachelor studies. The second is the prerequisite knowledge that is if you are applying for some master's program, the master program will have some courses which are compulsorily to be covered in your bachelor studies. And the third is the total number of credits. Some universities checks the total number of credits which you have earned from your bachelor course. And the most important thing is CGPA. Higher your CGPA, the higher getting in top universities. So what is the takeaway from this slide? Having good academic skills always fetches the higher position. Also, one with good CGPA should not worry about the cutoff for either jobs or for higher education. The second outlining feature of your profile is the language test and competitive exams. English language tests are very important as a part of eligibility criteria while applying to universities abroad. So, taking either of the tests, that is TOEFL or IELTS, is very important for clearing the requirement for the university applications. The next is the competitive exams. These are very important as a part of selection. Higher the scores in the competitive exams, higher the chances of getting selected in good universities. The two important competitive exams which I will mention in this is GRE and GATE. GRE is nothing but Graduate Record Exam. This is the standardized exam which measures one's aptitude, mathematics, vocabulary and the analytical thinking. So, the marks scored in this exam will help you in getting in good universities. GATE. GATE is nothing but Graduate Aptitude Test in Engineering. This is the national level computer based test which helps in getting admission in IISC, IITs and NITs and also some of the top colleges. Also this gate nowadays is used by German universities as a cutoff and eligibility criteria for some master programs.
what is the takeaway from this slide? That is, language tests are designed to check your English language skills. Scoring well in GRE helps in getting top universities and also the chances of scholarships. GATE scores are helpful in getting into PSUs, that is public sector undertakes and also few German universities considers the qualified GATE scores for some master program. The third important feature of our profile are projects and research papers. In projects, we can classify that as three types, mini projects, industrial projects and final year projects. When we talk about the mini projects, it includes any models which has certain theory related aspects. In computer science, it may be any app development. If it is in mechanical engineering, it may be development of some models of engines, turbines, etc. Industrial projects are nothing but our contribution or our role in any industrial ongoing projects. And final year project is our major thesis which we submit in final year of our engineering and this project only determines our interest, teamwork, contribution and innovation of new ideas. If this project is in the same field as whatever the master program we have applied, then it has a huge advantage. Research papers. These are the value additions to a profile of a very good candidate. These papers determines your interest and hunger for learning. I have mentioned three types of papers which one can do in his or her engineering term. Conference papers, journal papers and reference papers. What are conference papers? If we attend a conference and present any of our research work in that and that gets published in any conference proceedings, they are said to be conference papers. If we have published our research work in any journals such as Elsevier, Springer, IEEE, which are Scopus indexed and those are said to be journal papers. And reference papers are nothing but the summarization of some topic and compiling it as one paper. So this is nothing but a reference paper. What is the takeaway from the slide? Projects directs us in the right way to select the desired field of our master studies. And also they set a strong base for the jobs we apply. Research papers shows our interest and depth knowledge about the subject and our area of expertise. The third and the important feature of a profile is SOPs and LOR. SOP is nothing but a statement of purpose. In this, we have to understand why should we write a statement of purpose. This is also a motivation letter which we write as a part of our application procedure when we apply to some master's program. What should an SOP include? It should, we should write an essay why we have selected that particular university, what is the purpose of doing masters and also SOP should signify our goals to achieve. Letter of recommendation. Letter of recommendation is simply a letter which is given by your professor or research guide which signifies your character, capabilities and abilities to take the role in any of the project research or your uh, extracurricular activities. The main takeaway from this slide is SOPs and LORs plays an important role in getting admissions at the top universities. These documents determines your interest and reason for applying to the master's program. The fifth feature of a profile building is extracurricular activities. These include your internships, competitions, lectures and workshops, social and cultural activities which you have undergone. Your internships plays an important role in a profile which determines the real term experience in your desired field. Competitions Participating in a competition plays an important role in order to identify your leadership qualities and team spirit. Lectures and workshops Attending lectures and workshops are very important to showcase your knowledge gathering ability. Social activities your socio activity is a special kind of and very important part of your profile which shows your ability and interest in serving your society. The main takeaway from the slide is these activities shows your involvement in different fields which is very important and it is a part of a strong profile. Work experience. 
I would not say lacking this feature would affect your profile more because if you are applying to the masters as soon as you finish your undergraduate then there will be no work experience. However, work experience is one of the additional point which can boost your profile and chances of selection. Also the work experience should be relevant to the masters field which you are applying. Having all the above 5 strong points that is a 5 strong features in your profile may nullify if you do not have a work experience. The last part of profile building is showcasing the profile. We usually showcase our profile through a document that is called resume and these are few important points which we have to follow while documenting a resume. First point is keeping it very brief, usually two pages maximum. Second, list your career history in reverse chronological order. Don't forget to include a short note to explain any gaps. Use bullet points for achievements and responsibilities. Include more detail on recent roles and less on older ones unless they are particularly relevant to the job you are applying for or relevant to the master program you are applying for. List educational institutions and qualifications in reverse chronological order. That is, your highest qualification will be in the first place and order, including the computer skills, language skills and any relevant training. This should be very important. Keep your hobbies intersections short and also you can add your LinkedIn profile details. Check for typos. This is the most important point which we have to be aware while doing a resume. That is, we have to check whether there is any spelling mistakes while doing resume. And at last, details you have mentioned in your resume should have a valid document as a proof to support it. This is the most important point so that we can show anybody that we have done so and so and this is a document which is supporting for that particular activity. I hope you guys understood what a profile should look like and also what are all the information that has to be included in a profile. And also in coming videos, I'll be giving information about doing research paper, letter of recommendation, statement of purpose, etc. And if you guys have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, Tribo Geek, do subscribe and stay tuned.